hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel my name's Hillary I'm a mom to a three-year-old named Sebastian and a 10 month old named Zebediah but he goes by Zeb today's video I'm so excited for if you are my family this is your warning to not watch this video because I'm going to share all of the things that I'm getting for the people in my life as kind of a holiday gift guide for my husband my kids my mom my grandmother my brother etc so like I said, if you're my family, this is your warning to click out of the video if you do not want to know what you're getting for Christmas. So, let's jump into the video. If you are my family and you're still watching um, I'm gonna do my kids first so that if you want to see what I'm getting the kids but not you you can watch this part of the video <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my oldest like I said he's three and I have two boys so that did make it a little bit easier to buy because obviously like they can share everything um, and we're definitely at the age where cars are everyone's favorite um, and we're also really into Paw Patrol so he my oldest um, has all his birthdays in October so he just got like a ton of the Paw Patrols like that's what his biggest thing is um, and so he has all of the main characters except for Ryder and Zuma so these are what he's getting from SANTA um, actually this we don't get our kids you know everything's from so yeah but anyways so those and then he for a year straight he has been saying that Hoho -Ho is going to bring him a white puppy this has been going on since last Christmas. I don't know where he got the idea. I don't know anything. Um, but that's like the one thing that he has asked for. So he's getting this little, it like wags its tail and everything. Um, and I think he is going to just die. It's so cute. It's got a little bow. So he's getting this. That's something I'm really excited for. And then the other thing that I got like just for him is this game. He always... We do like game nights and stuff and we play cards and stuff and he always wants to play but obviously like we don't really have any like super kid friendly games and I feel like this is one that's like totally age appropriate that he's going to be able to have fun. Like it says six plus but he's three and like intelligent and I feel like I mean it's a game that he can sit and play even if he can't really play it the proper way. Um, and then so both of them like I said they are three and... 10 months old he'll be yeah 10 months old at christmas almost 11. um his birthday's in february but every time we go somewhere they both need a water cup and it is exhausting we don't have enough cups and then like the little kitty cups aren't big enough for my oldest and it's just like it's been this whole thing so i wanted them to have real cups like me and my husband both have our water cups that we take everywhere and i wanted them to both have their own that they could take when we go in the car or whatever so that everybody has a cup everywhere we go just to make life easier. So I got them both um, these and I got a blue and a red and I thought about getting like stickers and getting their names put on them. But honestly, like if you're a mom, then you know the headache of like, that's mine, that's theirs, blah, blah, blah. And I don't wanna deal with that. So I didn't wanna put their names on it so that it's not specifically, this is so-and-so's, this is so-and-so's. Like they can both use both of them. Even though honestly they're, they're different colors. So they're probably both gonna like pick which color they want. But I'm trying to eliminate some of that by having both of them um and then this is kind of another for both of them gift but probably more so my oldest um we so for his birthday he got this was a set of six and he loves puzzles and so for his birthday he got a couple of the ones that were in the set and then the other three i have had in the closet saved for christmas so these three he's getting for Christmas, but I'm probably gonna put them kind of like as for both of them, um, just because like this one specifically, like my one year old can do this, whereas like this one's gonna be harder. So this will be more for Sebastian. Um, but I think they'll both have fun with puzzles. So moving on to specifically for Zeb, I got some magnetiles. Obviously these are not 
the actual magnet tiles brand just because those are hella expensive so this is an off brand on amazon but it had really good reviews and i really like the colors i don't normally like bright colors i usually like very muted like wooden toys like this is usually more what i gravitate towards um but i actually like the colors of these so and it was cheaper to get these than to get like the muted color ones so obviously saving money i'm not gonna buy more expensive just to have a color scheme i'm not that cool of an influencer <laughs> um but anyway so i got magnet toys i'm really excited about these and then I also got these are, I'm not entirely sure what they do, but they're like the tubes and you can bend them and fold them and like <laughs> um, all kinds of stuff. And I know that these are recommended for like little ones. I think you'll have so much fun playing with these. I love anything that's like sensory or Montessori-esque like those are more what I prefer as far as toy goes I don't like things that like you press a button and it tells you what to do or it makes one sound and then it's like a one and done toy not into those if I'm gonna invest my money into something that my kids are gonna play with then I want it to be at least educational or usable for an extended period of time I was actually talking with my mom today about a lot of their toys I don't have like our toy room is full and it looks like they have so many toys but and it's hard to buy for them for like Christmas and stuff because it's like well what are we gonna get rid of if we're gonna put more toys in but really I don't have anything that I want to get rid of because I don't have a ton of like plastic crap that's just built up over the years because I'm one of those people that sends like an Amazon list like this is what we want for our kids. I know what they're going to play with. I'm with them day in and day out every single day. I know what they're going to want um, and I would rather you buy them something they're going to play with than something that's just going to like eventually get thrown away or not played with or you know whatever. So but anything that's like my point in all of that was that it was really hard to buy for my youngest because my oldest has so many things that my youngest plays with because I buy a range of toys that are monetary based that are really educational for all kinds of kids. So my youngest plays with all the stuff my oldest plays with and it's hard to buy for him especially. But this is something that my oldest never had um, as far as like these like sensory tubes and so I'm excited to have these. The same thing goes with the next one is this is something I always wanted for my oldest but never got. Um, but I know that my youngest is going to love this. Zeb is going to have so much fun playing with this. Um, it has different colored <laughs> things. I don't even know what these are called. Like coins? Different colored coins. And it's a coin box. So it's kind of like a piggy bank in the sense like it goes in here and then you drop them through the slot. He is going to love that. He's going to have fun playing with it. This is honestly something Sebastian's going to play with too, but that's kind of what I like as toys that are versatile that like everyone can play with um, so that we don't really outgrow it. This isn't something you're going to outgrow, but this is good for fine motor practice um, to help, you know, teach them like how to put things in there. So excited about that. The other thing is kind of a, it's kind of a stocking stuffer, but it's honestly just a gift. <laughs> Zeb is later getting teeth than Sebastian did so he finally has some teeth and they're all growing in all at once and he doesn't have a toothbrush and I was like I'm not gonna just like buy a toothbrush like I probably should have but whatever it's coming from Santa so he's getting two toothbrushes it actually came in a four set but I don't know if they'll use the pink and purple I mean I'm not like I don't care pink and purple are just colors they're not like girl colors um but I will probably give him these two and just put these up for like when these are bad and Honestly, probably Sebastian will use one of these too. So <laughs> I'm keeping these, but I'm gonna give him these. Um, but yeah, so that's what the boys are getting for Christmas. So if you're a family and you watched this far and you wanna click off, then click off now before I go into family things. Um, but next I'm gonna do what I'm getting my husband for Christmas. Oh wait, I lied. The last thing that I'm getting Zeb, um, I can't show a picture of because the box is huge. And obviously um, SANTA is not gonna put it together until Christmas Eve when he brings it to the house um oh I forgot that too but so this is kind of for both of them but specifically for Zeb he is my little climber um Sebastian is too but Zeb specifically so I'm really excited I got them this got them this climbing gym and it has the slide um and I think they're both gonna love that for like whenever it's rainy and stuff to play inside but also Zeb specifically is going to use it to like pull up on and he's trying to walk everywhere and you know all that so it's going to be a good gift and then the other thing that I did get Sebastian that I forgot is oh it won't load the picture I'm going to cover my address um I got him a crinkle cutter because he always wants to help in the kitchen 
and obviously like knives are dangerous and so I got him something that I've been wanting to get him forever but that's kind of more his like stocking stuffer ish kind of gift to kind of go with like the toothbrush level of like present that's so dumb that parents do that like just buy your kids what they want um but yeah okay moving on to what I've got my husband my mom was here earlier and I was telling her everything that Zach was getting for Christmas and she was like so you got him all stuff for you and I was like no these are things that he wants Anytime he's in the kitchen, he complains. There are so many things that he constantly wants um, that he doesn't have. So, things that I got him that I'm excited for that are all kitchen related. Um, these are cast iron holders for his cast iron skillets. He got those for Christmas last year from my mom. And we have like one handle cover. Um, but it's like been in the oven so many times that the cover itself is like getting worn and used. And so he needed a new one. And so I went ahead and found this whole set, which I'm excited for because it has like, like one for the other side too. So when you pick it up and carry it, you're not burning yourself. So he's gonna love this. And then I also got him a meat tenderizer because every time we have any kind of meat, he complains about not having one. So no more complaining, he's getting one for Christmas. Um, the other thing is all of our pot holders are going bad, like just general pot holders. So he's getting two more pot holders as well. And then he's getting a rice cooker <laughs> because every time he makes rice, he makes it on the stove or in the microwave and he constantly is like, I really want to walk. I want a rice cooker. I want blah, 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 blah. He loves rice and we love rice and we eat rice, but he hates making it. So I'm actually really excited. This is like, I guess his bigger gift. We're not doing like super fancy gifts or anything, but I hope he's not. But yeah, so I'm excited about this. I think he'll be excited about it too. And then the last thing is kind of a fun gift. Um, we played this game somewhere. We went somewhere and they had this in like an Airbnb in the room or something. And we played it and we had so much fun. And so I was like really into like games and I like building our game collection, which you'll see with what I got, like my family and stuff. Um, but I think that this will be a fun game that we can play like when the kids go to bed because you can play it with like just two people. I'm excited about this. I think this will be a fun like little date night kind of game kind of thing. Okay, moving on to my family. So, I'll start with my mom first. So, every year... Oh, every year, we do an ornament and a plate for the family. This was last year's um, ornament. It's a Grinch hand that the Sebastian made. Salt to ornament. And then the Christmas plates. I do those every year. Um, I've done them every year since Sebastian was born. So they will, all of the grandparents will be getting a plate and an ornament just like every other year. However, my mom and Zach's mom are getting something extra um, just because they are. <laughs> so, which I hope none of the rest of my family is offended by that, but I just feel like they're just little things. Um, and I saw them and I like couldn't not get them. So my mom and Zach's mom are getting a little something extra. Um, but they are getting, this is a bracelet. My mom is a jewelry person, like wears jewelry all the time. Oh, we'll focus. Okay, it's not gonna focus, but it's just a like little bandel, bangle bracelet, and it says "Best Mimi Ever." And obviously, it's gonna be like from the boys, but I think she's gonna really like that because she, like I said, like loves little like dainty bracelets and things, and she will definitely wear that. So it's always hard to buy for like people like jewelry, but my mom loves jewelry and will wear it. And then Zach's mom is getting, she loves coffee. And so she drinks a lot of coffee. And so what she's getting is a little stir spoon. And it says Nana's coffee. And it's a little coffee spoon that she can stir her coffee with. And it has a little coffee cup on it. And I just think it's so cute. Like she's totally going to love that. So, so for my brother, him and Rachel are both getting cups. So Rachel says, you're the sister I got to choose which is so cute um because she's basically already my sister eventually they'll get engaged and married you know who knows when but eventually but anyway i'm really excited about her cup she drinks a lot of like mimosas and like things like that or like even i mean just water or whatever you can put in this but it has two lids too which is cool but i really like the, like saying on it more than anything else but she's gonna love that and then i got my brother a cup as well his is a beer mug and hers is like a little wine glass but she won't drink wine in it she'll drink mimosa but my brothers says uncle the man the myth the man the myth the bad influence 
and that is the epitome of my brother. So they both got their cups and then um, I got this little adulting to-do list thing, which is more just like a funny like haha -ha stocking stuffer kind of gift. But I think it's really funny and like really cute and they can put it on their fridge since they just bought their house and stuff. And then I also, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna give this to specifically my brother or if it's gonna be kind of like for everyone, but just like keep it at their house. Um, but I think this will be so fun to play. We love to play like card games and stuff and we always, always default to phase 10. It's my brother's favorite card game and we default to it every single time. And anytime we're together, I mean, on Thanksgiving, we sat and played cards and I just want something different. So, and I think this will be fun to play, which is also appropriate because we can't really play Oh, what's the, not Exploding Kittens. Y'all know the card game I'm thinking of, the black and white one. I can't think of the name of it. But y'all know what I'm talking about. That card game, we can play that with my grandmother because there's like some inappropriate things in there. So this will be a family friendly game that everyone can play. So I'm excited. And then for my grandmother, um, this is the last, yeah, this is the last thing I have. Um, but I'm really excited about this because it's kind of a gift ultimately for me but it's gonna be something I think she's probably gonna really enjoy doing. Um, my grandmother and I have a really special relationship and she always in all of her cards writes, um, may God bless you and keep you and hold you in the palm of his hand. And it's like always a sentimental thing. And all of like my baking that I love, I think comes from her. And we just have a really special relationship. She watched me when I was a baby for a long time. And um, I've just always been really, really close to her. And so this, um says nana i want to hear your story and she's a gg to my kids but she's a nana to me but it has like different questions for like every day of the year and stuff and you know it's like being an everyday grandmother has kept me young at heart i know all the newest fads and fancies i am way hipper than most of my friends i want to tell you about blank and you know she can like fill it in and then there's like um like sections where she can what do you remember most about your mother? What was your relationship like with your mom? Which will be special to read because I remember my Gigi. She passed away several, I mean, she, several years ago, but I was old enough to like know her. Like I grew up with my Gigi and we tell funny stories about her. And so I remember her, but it'll be fun to see my grandmother's perspective of her like as a mom growing up because my grandmother didn't have any siblings. So seeing like, you know, her and her mom had a special relationship. And so that'll be fun to read about and like, what did your parents do? And my grand, great grandfather, Grumpy, I never like knew him. He was alive when I was little, but I was so little I don't remember him. Um, and so it'll be, but I've heard stories and he sounds like the funniest person ever. So it'll be fun to read about, you know, like her childhood and her and Papa and their life together and that kind of thing. Especially because, you know, we just lost my grandfather almost a year ago, January will be a year ago. And I just wish I had more of like, his stuff like I wish I had a way to like go back and like remember some of the stuff that he's told me um and so ultimately this will be a gift for me I did not think I was gonna cry ultimately this will be a gift for me but I'm really excited to give it to my grandmother because I think she will also be very sentimental about it and I think she will write me some really special things that one day whenever she does pass away or whenever she finishes it that we'll be able to sit and like read together and so I'm definitely really really excited about this gift um but yeah so that is Crap, I think Zach's home. I've got to put all this away. That is my video. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I'm so close to 200. Please subscribe. I really, really, really need you to subscribe. Um, but thank you for watching. That's what I got my family and children for Christmas. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.